Boys and girls, hello, it's Mr. Sanito. Um, it's time for math, but I've got a little bit of a Brain Pop Junior video for you. We are going to make tally charts. So I've got a video. You want to watch it? I hoped you'd say that. Wait, you said yes, right? Okay, I'm going to show you the video, and then we will get our math books out and get right to work. You ready? Okay, here we go. Where should we go on our next class trip? The zoo, the firehouse, or the apple orchard? I'm taking a survey and making a tally chart. What are surveys and tally charts? A survey is a list of questions used to collect information or opinions. Let's see. There are three dinosaurs here. Let's take a survey to find out which one our classmates like best. We can use a tally chart to record data or information. Let's see, Moby likes the Stegosaurus the best. You can draw one tally mark to stand for one vote. Five kids like the Triceratops. So I'll draw five tally marks in that row. One, two, three, four. The fifth mark is drawn across the other four. Well, when you group the tally marks by fives, you can count by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Sets of fives are easier to count. Hmm, seven kids like the T-Rex. So, after I draw five tally marks, I can add two more to make seven. Oh, right. I forgot to vote. My favorite dinosaur is the Triceratops. I'll add a tally mark to that row. It's really easy to add to tally charts. Now I can count the votes and use the tally chart to make a bar graph. All right, we're going to stop the video there and we're going to make some tally charts. Now, the directions say, do more children like chicken or pizza better? You don't need your math book just yet. Give me just one minute to do this problem and then I'll tell you what page we're on. Don't look, don't look, don't look. Okay. Do more children like chicken or pizza better? And this bug at the bottom, that ladybug, is saying you can use a tally chart to collect information. Now, again, we need to read the titles and the labels. So let's look at this chart and look at this information. It says, food we like. And there's two types of food. There is chicken, yum, and pizza, yum. Boy, I like them both. And we've got these tally marks here. How many tally marks do you see by chicken? One, two, three, like this. One, oh, maybe I should do a different color. How about this? One, two, three. So there's three. So of course, under the section that says total, we're gonna write a three. I'll just fill that in. You don't need to do that yet. Then we're gonna look at pizza. Let's see how many people like pizza. Now, if you paid attention to the video, you know you don't have to count that. When you see that, do you know how many that is? That's five. So you just start with five. So we go five, six, seven, eight. So what's the total number of people who like pizza? That's eight. Now, as a reminder, look at the bottom. It says each slash is a tally mark. It stands for one child. 
And that stands for five children. That's why I didn't go through and say one, two, three, four. We just go right to five. Now, boys and girls, do more, chi- do more children like chicken or pizza? Use the chart. What do you see? Pizza. More children like pizza. Eight is larger than three. Okay. Now open up your math book. I am on page 600. You got your pencil? Okay. Here are the directions. We're going to do some more work on tally charts. It says complete the tally chart. Hmm, um, hmm, I think we should read the title. The title says, Boys and Girls in Our Class. Okay, and here are the labels, boys and girls, got it. Oh, and look, we've got some tallies. Boys and girls, count the tallies for the boys and then fill in the total. See if you can beat me doing it. Hmm. Um, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did you get nine? Remember, you count five and then you just count on six, seven, eight, nine. Can you count the girls? Count these tally marks. Well, it's not that hard. You just start right here and you say five and you add one more, and you get six. How about that? Now, we're going to use the chart to answer these questions. Use the tally chart to answer each question. Not hard. Question number one. How many girls are in the class? How many boys are in the class? Why don't you answer those real quick? All you have to do is look at the chart to see that there are six girls. And how many boys? Nine boys. Not hard. You guys got this. But question three is a little trickier. It reads, how many children are in the class in all? Now, in all, signal words, that means they want you to count all the kids. Are we gonna add or are we gonna subtract? That's gonna be an addition problem. What two numbers are we going to add? We're gonna add nine boys plus six girls. What's the sum? I'll let you fill that one in. And then the last one, are there more boys or girls in the class? Use the chart and I bet you can figure that one out. Pause the video if you need to, but when you're ready, let's go on to the next page. This is page 601, and I'm gonna help you with a little bit, just a few of these. The directions say, complete the tally chart. Let's read the title. It says, our favorite sport. Oh, and here are the sports. T-ball, soccer, and swimming. Now, I want you to count the tallies and fill in the total. Pause the video if you need to, but do that now. Okay, did you fill in the totals? The next set of directions say, use the tally chart to answer the question. Hmm, well, let's see what we got. Question five, how many children chose soccer? And you're going to put your answer right there. Question six gets a little trickier. It says, 
how many more children chose t-ball than swimming. Now, remember, when you see how many more, they're asking you to compare. They want to know the difference between the number of children who pick t-ball and the um, yeah t-ball and swimming. What is the difference? So that means yes, we are going to subtract. And if it helps, I'll do this. And you can put your subtraction sign there and your equal sign there. Remember, the larger number goes first. Question seven reads, which sport did the most children choose? Circle. Was it t-ball, soccer, or swimming? Use the chart. And then the last question we're going to do is the math on the spot question. I will put the link in the comment section so you can click on it or copy and paste it. That'll help you answer this question. It says, write your own question about the tally chart. It can be anything from up here. And you can look at the other questions on the page to get some ideas, okay? That's all we're doing for today. Uh, send me a picture of this page in Class Dojo. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.